let's go. Does anybody know if this course is part of um, Charlie and Benny's Parkland contest? I'm having a hard time keeping track of that. And does anybody know a good place to keep track of it? Because I don't think it's on TGC Tours, is it? It's not a TGC Tours um, sanctioned thing, I, wouldn't, I don't think. So it wouldn't be on TGC Tours, I don't think. But I swear you guys can help me out. Oh, look at this. This is like a little muni, it kind of looks like. Like just appearances, you drive up, and then you've got just a little bitty kind of pro shop, little bitty clubhouse. You've got the um, vending machine, the cooler of water, the bag stand. Yeah, this looks the kind of place you walk up, you pay your however much money it would be wherever you are around here, something like this. 30, 40 bucks probably. Uh, and then your first tease right there and off you go. Although having said that, this makes me think maybe not. <laughs> this clubhouse is a little bit more substantial. Um, interesting. Although I have played a course in England, in the northeast of England, which is where Rich is from, that was you know, the course itself was nothing special. It was kind of a, it was a, it was a decent enough track, but it, was, it, was, it wasn't the kind of course you needed to be a millionaire to be a member at. And it had a damn castle. The, you, like, the members parked in the, like, in the, in, inside of the castle walls. It was unreal. Um, for a Canadian kid, anyways. But yeah, this right here just looks like your city-owned muni. It does? Thanks, Celtic. I'm going to have to check that out then so I know what's what and which courses are part of it and which ones aren't. Okay. Give me a little clicky-clicky on that. Because, yeah, so Rich is in this. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'm get, yeah this is part of the contest. Okay. What do we got over here? Tennis courts. Oh, he did tell me about the footy pitch. That's right. Uh, very nice. He's got the penalty spot there. I think he's got it a little too close to the net, but... Oh, thank you. I got all excited with my little stream decky thing that I kind of forgot. Yeah, I, I don't think that. Yeah, the the penalty spot's too close to the to the to the goal, and that's okay. And then this looks like what Shawshank. What we got going on over here. Oh, he's put dresses on it. <laughs> no, it's definitely not St. James's Park. Well, for one thing, the the pitch is flat, so it can't be. Um. For another, the it's it's a little smaller. Has he done that everywhere? Has he put like house numbers on? No, just that one. Okay. God, some of the things you guys do is are just outrageous. And then what office buildings over here? I guess. So this does look like it's kind of like a city course, doesn't it? So what's the seven fifty nine over here? I wonder. Huh. Is that how many inmates they have? Oh, I don't know, CG. Um, and again, I'm contractually obligated by myself to tell you that I don't think there should be an, uh, a rookie contest this year. Don't see the point of it. Design League is the way to go. Alright, maintenance shed and everything. Alrighty, well, let's see what Rich has cooked up here for the uh, Parkland course, or pa Parklet contest, sorry. Oh, this is not a very friendly beginning. <laughs> you like that, Dan Dan? Um, yeah, we're going to step up on the first tee. We've, we've, we've walked, we've dri driven in, we've gone through the little pro shop, we've maybe hit the, the concession, or the um, vending machine. And now we're going to stand on the first tee with water right, and most of us are righties, and most of us hit it left to right, so. 
Uh, not... Not the most comfortable tee shot to kick things off with in the world. Hey, Skillman, what's up? More fans watching football than at Man City. Oh, geez, that's... Yeah, you might want to be careful about that. I mean, St. James's Park is bigger, so... But I know, I know, that's, not, I know that's not what you're talking about. Um... I have a feeling this river is going to be a fairly prominent feature of this course. I'm okay with that. All right. So this isn't the first course I've played from this contest. I played, was it G-Forces? Was it his? Or was that the CC? See, I'm, there's too many course, uh, contests. I can't keep track of them all. Who did I play that was part of this contest? Uh, no skill, man. There's, um, well, I mean, Maddie's wicked busy right now. But usually there's a new contest about every month, and you can jump in anytime. You don't have to be there right from the beginning. Uh, to me, that's part of why Design League is a better fit for, it is better than Rookie Contest, is you don't have to wait a year, right? It's like every month. And you can kind of jump in and... Oh, that's right, Frederick. That was yours. Thanks, dude. How's it going, buddy? Um, yeah, you can kind of jump in and, and, and do the contests that make sense or that fit fit for you too, right? Because um, not everybody has the time to be able to do every single contest. So, so yeah, you can, you can, get, you can get right in there. Um, it, for this current contest, is it too late to sign up? That I don't know. Okay. I mean, the thing with Rich, you, you know you're getting a good, clean course out of him. Um, this is probably going to end up being a bit toned down for him. Because, uh, I mean, the to me, where Rich really jumped off the page was, uh, was it Red Spires, the one with the tee shot on the roof? <laughs> I hate that that's how I have to describe that course, but that's the thing I remember about it. Like, the first thing I remember about it is it, that the opening tee shot was on the roof of the clubhouse. But that was one where he showed us, like, he could really do some eye-catching design. Uh, this being a Parkland contest, though, oh, I probably should have paid attention to that. Um, y you don't have that same ability to be quite as, um, as, as, what's the word I want? Eye catching, I guess. Oh, they capped it, Frederick. Oh, geez. The this one or like, which which one are you talking about, Frederick? The because we're talking about Design League as well. Yeah, Adventurous. There you go, Celtic. Because you're kind of constrained to the fact by the fact that it's a it's a it's a Parkland course, right? So. You can't have the same, some of that stuff. Which I think challenges the designers in that way too, is, is build a memorable golf course without being able to have those really, you know, eye-catching, memorable, oh, they capped this at 35? Okay. Um, yeah, not being able to do that. I think that tests the designer a little bit, which is cool. So it was a cool idea that Benny and uh, Charlie had. Okay, that's what I thought for next, so you caught me off guard there for a sec. Because we have had some big friggin' contests from Design League. And I, I, I know because I played every, every friggin' one of them. <laughs> it took me a week one, one contest, I think. This is nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's a solid Parkland course so far. Ooh, the waypoint here is a bit awkward. So... Blind tee shot if you want to go over here. There's some camber there. Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to add my emotes to um, this Stream Deck thing. Because I bet you I can. Okay.
it's um it's a it's a comfortable pl course to play like it's not partic it's not massively narrow um it's just solid which if we're being on if i'm being honest at least i kind of expect that from rich now like i would be i would be super surprised to play a rich course that wasn't solid he might take some gambles here and there which is cool, but what he's going to do, the fundamentals of it are going to be good. Was Rich is the one that had sand everywhere for CC? Again, there's so many CC courses. I think that was Rich, wasn't it? Oh. We're going with my favorite trees in the middle of the fairway. Well, there's room, though. Um, all right. Let me figure out why I go right here. Yeah, I bet. I bet who that. Um, the thing is, when Rich sets his mind to making something memorable, it's memorable. <laughs> um, yeah, why am I going right? The angle, I, I, oh, hang on. That tree's overhanging a bit. Okay. So it's the angle. It's just that you have to smash it down here to get past that tree. And it's narrow as hell. I'm going to try it. Oh, I've leaked it. This could be a problem. Oh. Yeah, see, I don't... Now look what's happened. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I would go right, because now look. And there's, there's no way to hit it under that, that I'm aware of, at least. Yeah, I... That, that's... Not my favorite centerline hazard. Now, I think what he's trying to do, he's trying to make this interesting because it's, it's going to play short as all hell if there's, if there's nothing there. Um, yeah, yeah. It, I, I mean, it, I was going to, I would have played it going left. I wanted to see what happened going right. Yeah, you're gonna have well, it's 409, and you probably you, you might have a pitch in, so you just stick it in there. The landing doesn't really matter, or sorry, the uh, angle doesn't really matter when it's that short. Yeah, okay. I knew someone was gonna jump on that one, Mayday. Glad it was you. So, by the same vein here. Is there a reason I challenge these bunkers? I'm not sure that, again, there's really that much of an angle, like, difference angle-wise. Downhill. I'm not sure why I don't just smack one over here. I didn't even, I, I could have hit that full, too. I didn't need to, to, to de-loft it. Leave myself a gap wedge in. I'm okay with the green being separated like this because it's short-ish. Uh, I guess I still the one thing going by going right. I have a blind t-shirt or a blind approach. Okay. So you're challenging the bunkers left to. Let's see, to give yourself a look at the green. Maybe give yourself a better angle, but again, I don't know if it's long enough that the matter the, blah, 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 that the angle matters. Hmm. Oops. OK, 
Okay, now we're back to the river. Par five. We're oh, we're down. I'm going. I'm going here. I bet you I can carry this. Downhill, downwind. At the very least, I'll catch the back of the slope and kick forward. All right. And now this comes a short, short par five. I, I like the river. Um, it adds something. I'm, I'm a little concerned that maybe the river is necessary to make things interesting here, but I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen enough yet. And then this pin is is tough with a with a long iron, but it's a par five, so that's fine. Ah, uh, took too much off. Oh, hang on, we might get a like lucky bounce to the rough. Yeah, that's not the easy pin at all. But again. If you're thinking of this as a par 5, you're expecting a third shot, you're expecting a short third shot, you should be able to stick that. Front bunkers. I mean, I like their placement. I, I see what you're saying as far as the sculpting, of, or the create, like, what, how they look. Um, I think they're needed. I think something is needed there, though. I'm seeing this a lot. The kind of, I mean, this is what 180. It's almost 190. The 190 false front, 200 yard false front, that kind of stuff. It does have a background or a backstop. I do like. Well, so we're creating a chipping area, I guess, in front of the green, aren't we? So you come up short, it rolls back. You're, it's it's a chipping area. I do like the idea though that you only it's only just barely onto the green that um the hill continues. So if you can get it on the green, you're probably staying up there. A lot of people would have the false front starting here. So I, I do like that. Hey Lucas. Um, which hole are you talking about, Forrest? The part. Oh God, I'm. This is really going far. Hmm. I almost wonder if that ridge is a little too accommodating for this pin. Nitro, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's why I always ask for us, because <laughs> people are delayed sometimes. Um, latency and all that jazz. I'm sure there's a pin over here, which is going to be diabolical. Pin there is, yeah, challenging. Probably one over here. It's going to be pretty rough as well. Uh, you got your work cut out for you, Nitro. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I landed that pin high, which is too far. And I'm still relatively close. I don't think it's asking too much to land kind of in this neighborhood. I wouldn't have been upset with being more here. Being too far. Because I think there's enough room there that you can land it there and keep it within a decent distance of the hole. And I just hit mine too far. But then that ridge is going to... Yeah, for the pin back. I don't know. Not like me to be complaining about too easy, but... Doesn't matter if you can't putt anyways, does it? Q 
Okay. Huh. Well, it's not a driver. I wonder if this is choked a little bit too much up here. Mm, okay, if you get past it, it's not. And then this is a cool little flip up here. Uh, I'm not a fan of ridges like this, but it kind of works here, I think. You got you basically have two levels, right? Front, front, and then you got a false front from that. It rolls down the fairway, which on this length of hole, I don't think is a bad thing at all. Um, and then you got the back pin. Oh, that better not spin too much. Okay. Yeah, I, I like that approach shot. I like that approach shot. Is it OB over the back? Nope. Okay. The drive I wasn't massively keen on, but if you play the shot, I just hate the idea that you could be in the fairway and blocked out by that tree. It's, it's, and it's a, it's a personal thing of mine. I don't like trees in my way in the fairway. I feel like if I've hit the fairway, I should at least have a shot at the green. Hey Justin, thanks for the follow, man. Um, you have a course around somewhere that I haven't seen yet, that I haven't put on my list yet. Remind me. That's right, that's right, Mayday. I'm going to take on this. This is a par 5. I want to get home in 2. And again, we can run it down the hill. Okay. So... If you hit it on the fairway, you're probably going at the green. If you miss the fairway, you got a decision to make. Okay, cool, dude. Um, did you? Is that in victories? I'm trying to remember which Discord I, I saw it in. Yeah, you got. It. So from where I am now, it's. But yeah, you got a decision to make. Do you carry it over here from the rough as your layup? Or do you just leave it short of the of the river? And I think this is that same river that's been kind of going throughout the course, hasn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Cool. I could see where this hole could be a little clunky at times, but I like the idea of it. It definitely creates some interest in the second shot if you miss the fairway. Oh, was in my Discord. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the Discord I check the least. Then it'll be easy for me to find. Good. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I check my Discord the least because it probably has about the least traffic of anybody's. It doesn't. I haven't got. I haven't done enough to it to get it going yet. All right. I, I, I'll, I'll put it on my list for sure. Yeah, I know. The thing I find weird with Discord, though, is like any of the Discords I follow, if there's a new message on the Discord, there's the little arrow beside the icon of the Discord, but there isn't one for mine, for my own. I have to actually go and click on mine to see if anybody's been there. So that's part of it. Sometimes I just don't think to because I don't see the... But now I've learned I have to. Ooh... All right, let's think our way through this one. So, we've split the fairway. Oh, this is a long hole. Have we split the fairway? Hang on. 
It, it, I mean, it looks like it. Or is this another hole? No. Can't be, can it? Okay. So if I hit it 307 to the, that's 205 left. Basically the same here. So it's the angle, isn't it? So you try to hit it over he here. To give yourself a better angle. Hmm. Over here, you've got, you're, you've got no angle at all. You've got nothing. Hmm. Well, let's 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 try. I don't I don't know if I like my chances here. Too far right. Okay. Now, this is the reason we have the three iron in the bag. Because, I mean, it's a way better approach. I just, it's a hell of a risk you gotta take on to get this. But then I don't know what kind of approach shot you would hit from the other fairway. And it's not exactly the most, uh, the widest fairway I've ever seen either. I mean, I can get on board with this idea. I just don't know if... I think this idea works better if it's a par 5 where going here makes it reachable and going here makes it a 3-shotter. I think that's when this style of hole works better. I think asking somebody to carry that river just for an angle and, just, and then leaving them nothing if they're over here for an angle is a bit harsh. But, yeah, if it was like, drive here, second shot, somewhere around here, flip on. Or driver, get on in two. Then I think that would work better. Hey there, Schnee Leopard. My my knowledge of that language is limited. I I know it's German. That's about all I know. <laughs> Good evening. Cool. Thanks, Axel. How's it going, man? I knew I knew Guten was good. Is he saying good evening from Austria? It looks like the challenge has been kicked up a bit on the back. Hmm. Let me try and run this on. Yeah, that's what I wondered. Come on. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's not bad. I thought that was going to be special for a minute. Kind of an intimidating, intimidating shot, but you've got the room left to run over to the right. So I, I like that design. Your your typical don't think much about it and just go straight at the pin is going to struggle on this hole probably. Whereas if you take a minute to look at the ground, you realize no, you don't go at the pin. You you run it. Ground game. Jeez, that wasn't even enough break. Holy smokes! Hey, Scoot. Not even that was enough break. Wowzers. Okay. Ooh. It's kind of plateaued the fairway here. Yeah, the bunkering overall is a little bit ordinary, I guess, maybe? I 
I think the overall environment is pretty similar. This this one's a bit interesting in that now it's it's more wide open, but it's 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 slopes that now protect things. Hmm. Oh, and I've missed it to the right, I think. Or have I? No, I'm just gonna barely get there. Okay. It's getting difficult to make a, a with the, the new swing. It's getting difficult to make courses not just be drive or wedge all day, um, without making them crazy long. And that's got nothing to do with this course. That's just an observation overall. Uh, if you hit a draw, hit it like that though. <laughs> It can be driver putter, and it's not going to make any difference. There's some, definitely some interest in the greens. But I think he's done it in a way where it's not over the top. It's just... You got to play some break. And it helps and hurts sometimes, too. Yeah, the thing is, though, Axel, I mean, the longest driver still isn't as long as what they do hit on tour. I mean, 296, they're carrying at 320 out there. So. But I, I, I know, it's, like I, since this has happened, basically every course is just feels really short now. And somebody's going to create an 8,000-yard course, everybody's going to go bananas, but it's probably going to play about right. All right, so 415. Okay, so we've got some options. You can play short, you can play right, you can play left. I do feel like at times where there's been, I mean, the one hole where the angle option was there was super long and the angle really mattered, but there's been a lot of holes where there's been center hazards or whatever, and there's definitely been some attempt to create angles but the hole's short enough that it doesn't really matter yeah that's true axel if anything it might make it a little bit more difficult for courses to hold up which then might separate the designers a bit better i hit that fast Okay, I like how that second shot played. You had to be precise. I wasn't. So he's definitely he's definitely put some thought into that, right? Where he's been like, okay, well, you're going to have a little sh a short shot in here, so you better hit it well. And again, just like I said when I played Friday Night's course, it's hard for me to get overly excited about a Parkland course. It's just, I've seen too many of them. Um... In, just in my life to get like all wound up over them. That's why I like links and coastal and all that stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, that's... See, I'm glad to have your big smooth ones and uh, that name, or big smooth one, that name's still just, just it's offside. <laughs> but... Yeah, I mean, it, of course, it doesn't have to be long to play well. It's just kind of Axel made some good points there. There's just other things you got to focus on. The beauty of this being a video game, though, is there's you, you have all the land you want, so you can make them longer if you want to. Hey, Charlie. Okay. One, three. Big smooth one, three. Yeah, okay, that's better. <laughs> so otherwise it sounds like, hmm, yeah.
it is yeah i agree with you there charlie it's it's rich right rich makes clean golf courses so um we know that's never gonna be a problem interesting we've put a bunker here and then we've got this kind of burnt out like the course is pretty darn pristine for the most part there's the couple burnt out areas might be a little bit out of place and how's that for a pin good god wow that was um quite the swing Oh no. Hang on, I missed a question. We don't know skill man. I I would think yes, but we don't know. Uh, okay, makes sense. Course ready to publish, been designed a course off for a year. Blah, 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 yeah. Any idea, any suggestions on how to get some eyes on the upcoming course? Well, one way would be to ask people like me to play it. Um, another way would be to post it in the forums. Another way would be to participate in discords like Crazy Canuck 1985's, Victor Lane Sports. Um, who am I missing? Oh, hey, Maddie. So, wait. If you've been in Design League, you're not able to do the rookie contest. Well, then that really makes the rookie contest pointless. It's dumb. So you could be a guy, okay, sorry, Rich. You could be a guy who's done, say, three or four six-hole design league entries. Never done an 18-hole course before. But because you've been in design league, okay. Left's a short route here, isn't it? Yeah, but again, you guys know my feeling. Design League's a better way to go. Yeah, it's kind of what I'm thinking. Who's going to be eligible for it? Welcome. Thanks for the follow, uh, uh, l l I I X. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Um, uh oh. Well, this, yeah. Yeah, I agree completely, Maddie. Um, the CC con I mean, when you look at that and and C and sorry, people that were in Design League that were drafted into um, Dream Team. I agree, Mayday, and that's why I don't think they need to bother with it. There's other stuff going on. That I mean, as soon as they made CC open to everybody. Then you don't need a you don't need a rookie contest anymore, right? And then of course, um, then of course you got the design league. So, anyways, okay, strong finisher. I'm talking about the hole, not me. Yeah, I, I just think it's around his course, mate. I think it's it's we've got we've gotten other stuff that provides new designers, which much with much more everything than what rookie does now. Um, and so I think it's time to retire it, and it wouldn't be the first contest they've had that they've retired. Geez, four eighty, and it's still a wedge. Now, let's be fair. This course was not designed with pro in mind, so.
Ah. Yeah, that's, that's a clean golf course. I enjoyed that. It's another solid, rich entry. <laughs> yeah, that I, that I mean, could you imagine some of those what courses would be like now, though, on there? True, Maddie, we do. Okay. It, it's, you know, it's a really good, clean golf course. Um, it's a Parkland course, so that's going to be difficult for me to have holes that stand out. But the ones that did, I think, were the ones along the river. Um, the par three that was kind of like a semi reverse for Dan with the water right. Um, the first hole, and then there was a seven, the par five, where the water was. There was that one par four that had the kind of crowned fair. It was interesting. It's just a good course overall. Um, there's one or two center line hazards that I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that way, but that's okay. 4,000 yard back nine and I'm complaining about it being short. See, that's, that's what's going to happen. Um, 4,000 yard back nine, 4,000 yard back nine still didn't feel like it was very long at all. Anyways, that's not, uh, that's not Rich's issue. That's the game changing. Okay. Good job.